Last week I introduced the comparison contrast film analysis, but I want to go through the prompt in detail with you guys so you know exactly what I'm looking for in this essay. This essay is designed to evaluate your foundations of writing. All of the things that we've talked about in our first unit, thesis statements, paragraph development, structure, organization. And the assignment, as you all know, is to write an analysis of two films focusing on three tropes from that genre using point-to-point -point comparison contrast structure. You're going to use the details from the films to analyze how each film treats the trope. To do this, you're going to develop a strong thesis statement, a sexy thesis statement. This week we talked about the components that all thesis statements have, like the topic, the stance, and the so what. So your thesis is going to examine how those tropes impact or influence the viewer or the themes of the film. Now, last week we talked about the rhetorical situation, and part of looking at the rhetorical situation is examining your purpose. Your purpose is going to influence how you present your ideas to the reader. So, the purpose, obviously, is to come up with a formal essay with a specific thesis and supporting body paragraphs utilizing the rhetorical strategy of point-to-point -point comparison. So that leads to the expectations that you have to meet, that your audience, i.e. me, has for you. You've already met the first one, which is that your films have been approved, right? Um, you are not required to use outside research. However, should you choose to use outside source material that you've borrowed, please make sure that you cite it within the paper and include a works cited page. We'll be talking about works cited pages and in-text citations in the next three, for the next three weeks, but it's not necessary for this paper. I provided an outline for you all to help you kind of organize your ideas and I hope that you all utilize this because it's going to help you compose those well-organized body paragraphs. The bar paragraphs that I'm going to be looking for are going to be, I, I want you to develop pie paragraphs. So please make sure you review um, the section on paragraphs and paragraph development um, from this week. Also this week we talked about transitions and when you're writing a point-to-point -point essay those transitions are essential because they're going to move, um, they're going to help move your ideas or transition your ideas from one film to the next and from one trope to the next. So you want to have fluidity and transitions and transitional phrases are going to help you do that. Please eliminate the second person you. I talked about that um, at length in the feedback that I gave on the summary responses. But in order to eliminate those grammatical issues and that inappropriate relationship with your reader, you want to write in third person and not second. So be consciously aware of using or not using um, the second person you. Please pay attention to the so what question and that's going to be part of your thesis statement. So what insight do we get through this analysis? What's the theme, the overall implication? And um, 
how does their choice of treating these tropes in that particular way affect the viewer of these films? I'm looking for this paper to be written by NLA guidelines. And there's a whole section in your little seagull dedicated to NLA format. But to suffice to say, please use Times New Roman font that's sized at 12 point double spaced and please examine the example of an MLA formatted paper that is on canvas to make sure that you have um, your headings and your um, your name and, and things in the correct order upload your final papers to canvas and those final papers should be three to four pages in length this grade will count as 20 percent of your final grade and at the end of this week week two the 21st of june i'm asking that you please upload a draft of your paper to the section in canvas labeled workshop and then next week week three you're going to work in groups of three to peer review the, the members of your your groups essays I will also be looking at each of your papers to give you feedback in order to produce a more final product and that final product is going to be due on the 28th of June so I hope this kind of clarifies what I'm looking for and what I'm expecting. But you can, there is a rubric on the prompt in your assignment section, but there's also going to be a rubric. Um, there's also a rubric, I haven't put it there yet because I'm, I typically grade things by hand, but um, I'm going to be transferring the rubric that I usually use to your canvas section. So please make sure um, you look at that to ensure that you have everything that I'm going to be assessing. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer any and all of them.